the Black Mamba, one of the greatest players of all time, my GOAT, when, but when, did the Black Mamba become loved in the NBA? 1996, he got drafted by the Charlotte Hornets. Traded to the Los Angeles Lakers. Didn't start his first two years. But you see the improvement every single year. By his fourth year, he helped got the he helped get the Lakers. Helped them become 1999-2000 NBA champions. But it wasn't always love there with the Black Mamba. When he first got in the lead, he was told to sound like Jordan, prep like Jordan. Do everything Jordan like. And that's what he did. Which probably caused him some fans. And this was all a calculated plan by his former shoe deal with Adidas. A lot of people was put off about the Jordan comparison doing the MJ fade away and other MJ type moves. But the hate for Kobe Bryant continued after the first championship with the Los Angeles Lakers. The 2001 season when A when AI was going crazy, new stars emerged. T Max, Vince Carter, maybe they will surpass what Kobe is doing in the lead. But 2001, hometown, Lower Marion High School. His jersey is retired there. He gets booed by the home fans in All-Star Weekend 2001. The hate for Kobe started to soar. But the Lakers did what the Lakers do. We came to 2000, 2001. NBA champions and uh, then record 15 and 1, which was surpassed by the Golden State Warriors first year, Kevin Durant Warriors. 2002, big year, controversial. With the Kings and, and the Lakers playoffs. But the Lakers, they do what the Lakers do. They still won. There were people that would be fans of the Kings just to see the Lakers and Kobe Bryant lose. They'll make excuses of his greatness. Maybe he's great because he played with Shaq. Maybe he's great because the game wasn't as physical. Maybe he's only great because he has Phil Jackson. 2002, 2003. with injuries to the Lakers core. 
the Lakers lose. And the San Antonio Spurs become the champion. Everyone erupted. The Lakers finally lost. Kobe finally lost. But the hate didn't go away. 2003 had a special year for Kobe Bryant. Nine 40 point game. Gave MJ to Withers 55. After MJ saying he couldn't fill his shoes. Two thousand three, two thousand four. The case that would change Kobe Bryant's career. There was actually people that wanted him to go down for that case. The hate for Kobe became even more real than ever. Especially when he was putting out valiant efforts coming from court and had to fly out to the game and give your favorite player 30. He was still an assassin in the defensive end. He was still an assassin offensively. But even adding Carl Malone and Gary Payton, the, the Lakers still failed to win the championship, losing to the Pistons. Kobe, labeled selfish, didn't want to pass the teammates. That became heightened because of the 2004 Pistons series. For some reason or another, they had Kobe bringing up Shaq because of the trouble that was made. 2004-2005, coach, new coach, Rudy Tomjanovich joined the Lakers. The Lakers were an impressive team. Adding the likes of Smush Parker, Chris Mim, Kwame Brown, Lamar Odom, Karan Butler, Chucky Askins. But when Rudy Tomjanovich became ill, the Lakers didn't make the playoffs. Every fan Every Kobe hater was rejoiced. You can't win the big one. See, you can't even make the playoffs without Shaquille O'Neal. With his impressive tw over 27 points a game, career high at the time, six assists, Kobe was labeled as a man that couldn't lead a team by itself to a championship. But something happened the next year. Phil came back. Karan Butler was gone. And that Lakers team, Kobe was on a mission to prove that he was the best player in the league to prove that he is the heir apparent of Michael Jordan with 35.4 points a game. He at the time had the highest scoring average in, the, in that last 18 to 20 year span. Kobe Brown was putting up numbers, video game numbers five straight 50 point games including two 60 pointers 62 against the Mavericks in three quarters that game against the Mavericks you had to say that he was that he was the man no one can stop Kobe Bryant 
the Mavericks that year were the number one defensive team, co coached by Avery Bradley, Avery Johnson. So Kobe, a month later, scored the impressive 81 point game against the Toronto Raptors. This guy is insane. He is doing things that you only see in video games. Being the second player ever to score 80 or more points in the game. The first since Wilt Chamberlain. The first shooting guard to ever do it. That's when the love came. 2005-2006. Even when he lost to Phoenix the first round of playoffs in an epic game, seven game series against, against the Phoenix Suns, that's when Kobe became loved. The millennials in that era, they wasn't worried about the court case at the time because they didn't know about it all they seen was this man Kobe being Brian doing things that you only see in video games he became the black mamba and then three years later after he started getting love from the fans after he became undeniably the best player in the NBA. He goes off to win two championships, 60, his last NBA game, and going off as being one of the GOATs in NBA history. Kobe Bryant, 2005-2006 is when he became the most loved and the, hate it started, and the hate started to go away. It's your boy Jay Gardner. Like, comment, subscribe. The Black Mamba will be missed.